Hi everyone, welcome to Of Course China. We are here today with Ziv, Fernando and Dr. Zavel Mojica. Dr. Zavel Mojica is a dentist, a foreign dentist here in Dongguan, and he's going to be telling us a lot of the very interesting stories that he's had here in China. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a second. All right. So, Dr. Zavel, how are you today? I am fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very happy to see you without any treatment needed. <laughs> you know, I've been you've been treating me for quite a few years. Yes, so uh, I think first time I met you was six, six and a half years ago Much when likely, you yes. came to Dongguan. Yes. So, coming to Dongguan as a foreign dentist, uh, how? Why? Well, I first came as a tourist because I was traveling um, here for during three months before my master's degree. And then, like eventually, like uh, China and the whole environment dragged me into staying here, basically. So um, and eventually, I really liked it, and so I I stayed because of, I had a girlfriend or because of a so job offer or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So then you stayed here. Uh, you got a job in Dongguan. Yes. And six years later or more, you're still here. Okay, uh, Fernando was just talking about something, uh, something interesting. Uh, since you've been here for six years, what was what your question? Your, what is your craziest story with a patient? I mean, because when I think of dentists and I think of anesthetics, it's just there's got to be funny stuff. Anything you could share with us? <laughs> well, I have many crazy stories, like some related to dentistry and some really like related to like just consultations. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, like, uh, because there are not so many foreign doctors here in Dongguan, like, and they, you can speak English and they know that you have some medical uh, degree and you know a little bit more, like, maybe you can guide them. So, like, they ask you, like, many, many awkward questions, you know. <laughs> questions that have not related like, yeah, to what's, 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 what's an awkward question? Yeah, you know, like, for example, you know, there's, like, um, there's this, this person, this girl, that I asked, like, asked, oh, doctor, can I ask you a question? I said, like, yes, of course, you know. And I asked, is it because I have a rash? And, of course, <laughs> like, the first thing that you cross, like, your mind is, like, yeah, like, I need to ask this person where you have your rash, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, it could be because it could be, like, in the mouth or right, something. Right, right. You would think. You would if think. If she's asking <laughs> a dentist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then, like, and she said, she, she said, like, you yeah, know, but I have a rash. And I was, like... Yeah, well, <laughs> I am not a professional like to treat that. You know, you should go to the hall, to the gynecologist. You know, that's so not the way to hit on me. <laughs> but they feel they feel what, like closer to. A, I mean, are they embarrassed to ask a Chinese doctor, or what do you think they ask you? It was a Chinese. No, no, it was, was ah, a, like it was a foreign girl. It was a foreign girl. Okay, okay. so okay. I guess like she saw the opportunity. She's sitting in front of a foreign doctor. Uh -huh. yes, so yes, even though you're a dentist. Yes. Um, and she felt more comfortable than going to the Chinese yes. doctor. Even today, I had a, a, another foreigner uh, that asked me, he was having problems well, because he was like peeing blood. Okay. So he, he was asking me like, what could it be? Like, where should I, what should I do? What should I, where should I? So it makes sense in a way, because I mean, you know, you, you, you feel more comfortable with a foreign doctor and he may know, uh, I mean. But you know, like I, sometimes I have like more these questions, us. you know, for example, that are mm, that are, you are not taught in the university or or, or in life of how to do, answer them. You know, for example, this very beautiful model, like uh, a couple of years ago, asked me. She asked me a question about dentistry, but you know, like I didn't know how to answer her. She asked me, uh, you know, uh, when I go to the clubs, I do coke, mm -hmm. and I and I. And I, and and I don't snore because I know that it makes a hole in right. the in the like in the, in, nose. The, in the nose. Right. So I put it on my gums. Okay. Should I put it in my gums or should I snore? And how much do I do it? And <laughs> oh like it God. affects like the, how it affects the gums. And you're you're like, I like, don't <laughs> have an answer for that. <laughs> like you know. <laughs> what like, did you then say? You're like, actually, you know, I to, I told her like I will come back with you with an answer. Uh -huh. Okay. Then I ask you know one of my professors in the university you know and I ask several actually. And she, and she told me, you know, a really good answer, you know, like she's actually approaching you as a professional, you know, you know, for, uh, to answer a question that is a valid question, you know, uh -huh. uh, of course, like you should tell her like, like not the best thing to do it, 
But if you do it like on your gums, like you will have dental um, gum recessions and problems with the gums, like like swelling. And it's a professional and answer. Yes, it was a professional answer. Yeah. Right. Uh, now, I don't know if it's worse than your nose, but that's what's going to happen if you do it on your gum, right? Yes. Or, I guess. or you know, like <laughs> it's the same. Like I received messages uh, from any time. Like, like I have like patients that text to me like at 1 a.m. Like, oh, can I make an appointment for Tuesday at 3, three o'clock? It's like, you know, like, <laughs> I, like, why would you take text a dentist and you expend, like, an answer right away, like, at 1 a.m.? Like, and this is very common, you know? No, it's very or, common also or, with teachers. Or, you know, <laughs> yes, yes. Or, you know, like, like I know a girl that I did a wisdom teeth surgery, you know, and she, I asked her, like, <laughs> like, uh, okay, like, you cannot, like, speed, like, today, like, you cannot do sports, you cannot, like, uh, drink hot th- things, you know, for three days, like, you need to, like, take care, you know, because you had a surgery. And, you know, at 10, uh, 10 11 a, uh, a p.m., she's asking me, oh, doctor, I'm very embarrassed to ask you this, but is it, like, uh, giving my, my, my boyfriend a blowjob, you know, like, <laughs> is it, you know, <laughs> you know, is it okay? <laughs> like, you just had a surgery. You just had a surgery. Wow, I could not imagine you get s- this kind of question. Yes, it's no, no. Uh, like, makes really? sense now when you say it. Yes. The questions, like, yeah. people, people are like... You wouldn't think that those are questions that people would be asking. Now, it's interesting because <laughs> foreigners, right? So foreigners open, we open up for doctors. Yeah. We have no shame, right? Yeah. We, we learned it, you know? Chinese are totally different, right? Yes, Chinese, totally. they, don't ask, they don't ask these kind of questions. They would not even ask regular questions no, they sometimes. No, no, they no. just deal with they just deal hot with water. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and how, porridge. <laughs> what's the percentage of your, your patients? Like how many Chinese now and it, foreigners? Now I mean, changing. in general, from the beginning, in the last six years. I would say like... Uh, the beginning probably was like ninety percent, ninety five percent foreigners. Yeah, and now like I would say like fifty fifty or even sixty okay. fifty. So a uh, fifty uh, sixty forty. So being less developed, like more, more, you know, more dentistry in China, right? It's um, uh, compared with the West. Um, are there different? Like, are Chinese uh, more afraid when they no. sit in on the chair? I would say no. No, no, they're not. No. Okay. Even you know, like I have, I had many, many Chinese that are thirty-five and up. You know, that they came, came, you know, and they told me, you know, this is the first time that I'm coming to a dentist right. in my life. Wow. You know? And they're not afraid. You know, they're oh. well. They don't know. <laughs> yeah, they don't know. <laughs> they maybe and, they don't know. And I was just saying, you're a pretty good dentist. Uh, I've been uh, treated by you a few times with no pain, thanks to this thing. But you do, you know, how to do this really well. Um, and maybe their first experience with a dentist is not like me 30 years ago. Um, it's, it's with a dentist that uh, knows how to make sure you are pain-free. Then I guess it's nicer. Yeah. But, but do they have a lot of problems being 35 years old that they've never been to a dentist? It, it depends, you know, because like some of them, they come with their, their teeth like so black because they smoke so much, you know, mm, that it's right. just a black tar that you cannot see if they have cavities or not or cracks or not or... And the gums are usually like devastated. So and the tea also does that, right? The yes. tea the, uh, and the things. Chinese and the Chinese medicine. The Chinese medicine, uh. like the, it makes a classic, very classical sign that most of the dentists around the world they don't know because they don't know about Chinese medicine. Right. But it's a very classic sign that is like a really, really dark, um, like is is like stains, but in a form like in liquid shapes. You know, like uh, like the shapes of uh, like a. Uh, like a cucumber, like kind of shape. I would Can say. it be repaired? Uh, yeah, it's just a bit to, to clean it, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, with a cleaning, with a good cleaning. And wow. this is like with my, many Chinese kids, they have like their teeth like black. Yeah, why is that? I see, you see. Well, what, I see what I see at my training center, because I work with small children, is that it seems like parents don't care too much uh, about um, the teeth. first set of teeth. Mm. You know, like, yes. like <coughs> they rot, just let it be. Right. Wait until you get the real ones. Um, uh, it's terrible. I've seen it so many times, like rich families. Yeah, but I mean, totally rotten. Yeah. Um, uh, what do you think of that? I mean, what do you tell parents? Uh, have you, what do you do when you get a kid like that? Well, you know, like in my specific case, of course, I, I tell the parents what is important. I've had different answers, you know, from, from them, you know. Some, as Steve mentioned, they're rich, you know, and they just tell me, okay, uh, how, much, how much is it? do it today it's like do you want me to do like all his teeth that are rotten today just because you can afford it what do you need to do 
like cavities, root canal treatments, ah, crowns, treat them. you know, like, yeah. yes. And you wanted to do something to a kid that also is, doesn't know how to behave because, you know, like sometimes he's, he's, he's not an easy kid. And you want me to do everything today. Like, they just want, like, you know, like McDonald's, like you get like a combo, yeah. I get want like the whole like Money family. Yeah. yeah so they probably also want to go and shopping while you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The longer yeah, you no. take, the more you can yeah. spend yeah. out there. Yeah, that's the thing. Like most, most of the parents, you know, what I have seen so far is they just let their kid there and they just leave. Uh, it's just a difference, you know, between, I yeah. think, like, what do you call it, the parachuting? Uh, Parenting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, just, they just leave it there, you know. So why, why, why is that? I mean, basically, it's simple. It's, uh, they don't uh, teach their kids. Uh, they don't care about brushing teeth. And I, I think that is, like, getting education. Like, uh, now more and more parents are caring about the children's ke- teeth, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's about, like, uh, like also, like, the interesting commercials telling, like, why it's important, you know, and, and the government also telling why it's important to take care of your know, teeth. So it's this is why it's, a, it's a, a, an education process that is changing. I yeah. would think it's it's face, you know. I mean, I would think it's weird because it's face culture. I would be embarrassed if my kids... I don't know. I think it's a, a, bit, a bit of westernization. Know. As mm-hmm. in, as in, it didn't matter to them before. I mean, like, well, just so this go there common. or something. It's but now it's like eh, maybe there's other ways. Maybe maybe there's better ways out there. Every time I see a kid like this, I feel sad. I don't know. I feel sad for the kid. Like, yeah, I try to understand where the parents are coming from and why they don't. This is not cons- this is not a concern for them. You know I would I mean? die. I would be so embarrassed. I mean, Western culture. Yeah. I would be if my kid was like this. I'm like, I'm a shitty parent. <laughs> I mean, yes. yeah. Yes. Uh, Actually, in, in in some countries, including Costa Rica, you can get charged by child abuse. Yeah, if they can, if they oh, for real. I, yeah, for real. I mean, it makes yes. sense. Yeah, it makes sense. In Costa Rica, you can get, get charged by child abuse. Um, I, w- I wanted to to talk a little bit about um, some of the um, the protocols that you need to fulfill to be a dentist in China. I mean, because even though probably you study the same things, um, what do you need to do in order to legally work as a doctor in China? Well, currently it's changing a lot, so I cannot enter into specifics because also it's in each province it's different. Okay. Yes, so that's that's a really important aspect, you know. So, for example, if I, if my license is in Guangdong province, I can only uh, have like medical procedures, dental procedures in the Guangdong province. Mm-hmm. I cannot go to Beijing and just like. I guess this. the states may be the yes. same. It yeah, stays the same. You can take. You need US. to take the boards. Yeah. You need to yeah. take the boards. So. Uh, that you're certified in one province, it doesn't mean that you can go like crazy everywhere. Like, uh, like you really need to. Like, you can give seminars, you know. Like, that's legal because I I used to did, do that uh, for two years with a German implant company, and it was legal for me to to give seminars. But in the clinics, they will they will there were doctors that tell me, oh yeah, can you do the implant for this patient for us to sh- for to sh- for, for, for for you to show us, you know, how to do well, it and this and this. Cannot. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, like, you know, I cannot. Oh, no, we will not tell anyone. It's like, like it's no, I, like, <laughs> it's not about this. Like, really cannot, you know. Uh-huh. Like, so, um, but for your case here in Guangdong, um, <coughs> what are some of the steps that you remembered you had to, to, to do? Well, of course, you need to validate your title, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, they have only accept titles from certain universities, okay? So they're very picky with the universities that they accept. Um, they check your scores, they check your criminal record, um, they check, they, you need to validate the titles uh, and translate it into Chinese, like, uh, not to rise, the stand, certified. Not tried, like, certify, like, bring it here, then apply, then, like, uh, pro- like uh, take the health test, you know, mm-hmm. then um, now they're adding another test. Now, the for protocol for the protocols of the COVID nineteen, they added another test that you need to pass. Okay. So you know, like uh, now is the regulation are getting more strict, of course, because it makes sense. Because we're know. making this video in English for Western audiences, do masks work? I mean, why dentists have been wearing masks forever? Um, just. For fun, or do they actually work? There is there is a good video that it's called. I think it's called "What If Saliva Was Red." Uh huh. It basically like like this video shows like the amount of saliva uh-huh. that is floating in the air when you're in the dental consultation. Okay, so and it's it's amazing. Like like you can see like the stains everywhere. So it's it's to protect us, you know, because actually if you see, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put it up. Uh-uh. If you, if you see. 
if you see like uh, like the top five more dangerous you know professions in the world dentistry is amongst the one of the like first ones contagion so much work because you have we have biological um hazardous. hazards we have physical hazardous because we work with knives we have with drills with universe and so forth and we have also um uh, radiation of uh, course x-rays and, yes for x-rays wow so and so forth you know what what about uh, the differences uh, being a dentist in china and in some other countries how about the uh, compensation have, difference have you worked in other countries sorry yes yeah yes okay Which like in the in the us a dentist can make a lot of money yes right yes um how about china is it good in china china, china is good you know but in china what is happening is that uh like it's becoming you know a place for like mega clinics Like yeah. mega clinics that are basically like trying to make a corporation, like kind of like a big like a McDonald's kind of shape of yeah, like yeah, dentistry, yeah. you know. So they are trying to mass produce like these kind of dentists, you know. Because Chinese people are and very business like oriented, entrepreneurs, yes. and and they're trying to build big companies. Yes, yeah. and but you know this has never worked uh, in the West. Mm-hmm. And in my experience, this will, not, this will not work here also because... So what's the if, result if of that? The result in that is like poor... Uh, at the end, you know, like because corporations, they have the money to invest in advertising, marketing. They will bring their patients, you know, the customers. But these customers will not receive, you know, what they're, they're beautiful and light, enlightened, you know. So we like spoke about it before. You said a lot of uh, false... Advertisement. False advertisement, yes. What I, what I feel is a little bit like the Walmart effect. Basically, uh, they kill the small private dentist yeah, yeah. offices, and and then once they get rid of the small competition, then they call all the shots, and then like with many industries, starts to right? But go down. but yeah. I think in dentistry is a little bit different, different because the like the thing is about like once that you have like your own patients, you mm-hmm. know, as a dentist, they know that for example that you're good at it, and they trust you. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter, like if you if you open a good clinic, like your own clinic or something, your patients will move with you. The loyalty, the loyalty, for sure. Yes. I mean, you know, we spoke about it a little bit before, yes. right? Um, like, uh, but I think in in many countries similar. Maybe in China it's amplified. But like, how do you know which dentist to go to? I mean, how how, how do you question. know which dentist is a good dentist? That's a question that I get from from many con- even today. I, I got a question from an American that the Tom that was asking me like uh, how a guide, uh, you know, to give it to him uh, to search for a good dental in the Philippines. Oh, okay. What to so, look for? So you know, <laughs> like uh, like I get this answer like actually very common. You know, like I also get it from from Russians. I also get this. this you should question. make a YouTube video. And there probably <laughs> some YouTube videos are out there. there. <laughs> Yet, but I would say like it should be like it doesn't matter of what university. I would say like that university title is just a university title. Like okay. it, like it, it also depends like a value values of a person, you know, because you're treating a person. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's also about values, you know. Um, I have one uh, idea. Send your friend first. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good one. Yes, but uh, I would say like uh, you you need to. You need to hear, like, the, let's see, watch the reviews, you know, of these dentists, mm. if they are, mm. you know, mm. okay, and Makes recommendations, sense. and <clears throat> patients that have been with the dentists for years, you know, and then they, they have had an experience, and if they they did, like, big treatments or root canal treatments, it depends in which, what these dentists do, you know, like, if braces, if implants, if mm-hmm. uh, root canal treatments, if aesthetics, if something, you know, had the length of the treatment, like, Like okay, you did it six years ago and remained the same, the, the same without any issues, any, any any not any problems. So you have a reference, you know, like that. Is like do you have? Like do you feel painful after the surgery? Uh, like like okay, for one one week it's okay. Do you feel painful after six months? Like that's not okay. Yeah, that's you know? right. So is there like a Yelp? <laughs> there must be for right. Dentists? I mean, in in some places like uh, review online reviews. Are there in China? I, 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 I think, th- yes, I th- yes, there is in China. I yes, think these yes, online yes, reviews, yes. these people uh, reviews is great for any industry, right? Because ah. then you can... I think that... It, it unless it gets corrupted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, you know, or money, or some people, you know, trying to put money like... Pay just to, to for, to, ranking, yeah, for or ranking or something or so. like that. It's, yes. it's a double-edged sword. It works well if you get good reviews, but right. if somebody wants, is unhappy with you, then 
they go and attack you and stuff like right. that. So I mean, yeah. I mean, the recommendation would be the easiest one for what for for doctors, for uh, car mechanics, right? For all of those kind of industries, you usually look for someone to recommend you. Uh, someone they know, right? Yes. You say that, uh, I mean, in the many years we talk, you uh, one thing keeps coming back is uh, you always tell me how many patients you have that basically you just need to fix the problems they had uh, when they did treatments in other places. Yes. Botched treatments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I would say like 50% about my new patients, they are like uh, patients that are coming for me to repair something that has been done wrongfully something some like you showed me something in the yes, past like yes. some really serious shit yes 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 yeah like broken needles and yeah what? like yeah. yes broken needles inside today even today like i had like one guy that came like with a broken broken screw in a tube now now like in this a, industry a at least like from really at least from the u.s and i think you told me about this too before in this industry in it's really hard to sue yes to it's go right. back and sue mm. them yes Right? Yes, yes. So the, the, but in they're China protected. Or globally? Globally. Globally. Huh. So they are like uh, mm. protected in some, in some way. Why is that? It's because it's uh, like in, in health sciences, like uh, 2 plus 2 is, could be 8, could be 9, could right. be 10, could be 11. And mm. also the changes of the body is different. Like it's, it has no, like, like, in, like, it has like a range, you know. But it's, it's not, not like not, not it's an exact science. But I would say so. needle. <laughs> Forgot that. You know, like of course <laughs> there there are things that you cannot you can sue for. Like okay, you you ha I have a needle in my skull. And you didn't tell me about right. this. Mm -hmm. Like like things that you know you can sue for. Yeah. You know, but but for small things like I don't know, like for just an example. I still feel like pain after after like a week on treatment. You know, mm. like how can you sue this? Like this is normal. This in the textbook in dentistry also the. American Dental Association could be like, yeah, you have to pain. Mm. Like, What's the biggest? Uh, like, it's not one hundred percent sure that your medical treatment will work. It's yeah. like, like nothing is one hundred percent. Like in, in in medicine, they will tell you, no, it's ninety eight percent, ninety nine percent, ninety five percent. But you have like this to protect <laughs> yourself. You know? So I'll bring it back to you. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. But what's the biggest fuck up you? <laughs> uh, you've did. seen. You did. I have not done. Seen. Yes, you've done. Yes. Uh, I mean, there must be, right? Mistakes happen. To be honest with you, like, uh, I honestly, like, I haven't, like, like done, like, something, like, really crazy. Okay. I always something think you could have done better. When I'm at the dentist, I always think that even if they do something wrong, don't they can just fix it right away. I, I would never know. <laughs> I, I would <laughs> right? say... During the treatment. I, I would say, really like, the craziest things was, like, accepting patients that... I'm sorry to say this, like, uh, I would like uh, right now I'm not like a dentist, but are going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay, some patients, <laughs> like, to accept like, them. To accept them. Mm. Like, like some patients, it's better, like, just to tell them, I really don't need and don't want money. I tell you something money, you in know, every like, business. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We all know that. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, it's like, I really don't need your money, and I, I don't, you know, like, you can go and search for other person. I have a kid's but, face But you get better in that, right? Now. right? <laughs> yes. I have some clients in my head. But you get better in that, right? Yes. When you, you know, yes. it's like, oh, yeah, I don't need this money. Yeah. Yes. So, 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 usually you are able to fix those problems. Yes. Usually, uh, usually in the, in, like, where I work, yeah. I am the guy that fixes also the other dentists, you know, like, if they have problems, mm -hmm. if they broke a tooth in a surgery, like, and they cannot extract it, if they broke a needle, like, uh, in a tooth, and they cannot extract it, if they, if they, if they, if an implant, like, is not settling properly, like, they call me, if a patient, like, I don't know, like, just fainted out, like, they, they call me, like, I am the one that they fix it <laughs> like just but they full, call me like full <laughs> disclosure uh, a lot of fuck ups probably happen in other countries too oh no no that's, that's right? for sure. it's not no. just china no 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 i'm, I'm just talking in the general but, in the but world. we said but we said before that china may be more right I, and and there is maybe a reason for that what the, the, the i would say like in not only in china well my okay. experience you know my experience so, is my experience is that the my ex personal experience is that the best dentistry, like in terms of methodolo methodology, it is from the Americas mm -hmm. and Europe. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Okay. So first world countries. And yes. Asians are catching up. But also Latin America. I can tell oh, you also. Colombia okay. also has like amazing dentists and mm. Argentina has like a uh, top of tip of the edge, you know, for periodontal disease, you know. So but you know like in mm. Asia like uh, Thailand is becoming popular. Mm -hmm. Thailand uh, is, is becoming popular. Japan has been quiet in the that scenario. Japan like makes really good dental products which you know which is different. You know. <laughs> maybe you but see those Japanese movies there's always like oh, about the teeth you know like so maybe it's expensive or <laughs> <laughs> they make implants in Japan no they, they do no they yeah. don't I even they probably do but Korea, they're not Korea, right? it's Korean, Korean they're Korean. the ones that are really big in right. dental implants right. they are like the like just killing everyone like um, so in China um, uh, implants is getting me I mean I've been here for so long I always say in China I mean I don't know what's going on but <laughs> back in other countries maybe it's the same Implants are very big uh, this past decade or even more. It's growing and it will grow more. So not every dentist can can do implants. No. Right. So what, what's the difference? Why is implants is uh, why why some dentists can can't do that? Like if you want like implants, okay, like is it because there's like as always there's complexity of things, you know. For example, in the in the university, they teach you to do basic root canal treatments, like. You know, just single root or two roots, you know. But, you know, as you advance, you require you acquire more skills by yourself, but you also require more knowledge. So you need to take more courses, you know. And then you can do, like, uh, teeth that are molars that have three roots or four roots or five roots, you know, and they're more complex, you know. So it is the same with implants. It's a learning curve. Like, there are implants that are very easy to do, uh, and there are implants that are really difficult to do, that that only people that probably like have like, they need to study four years, you know, could, could do like sigmatic implants, like like implants that are, go from the sigmatic bone into the mouth, like really big ones. Why like do so you need that? Uh, for people that don't have any bone because ah, they lost. Okay. So more complicated stuff. Yes. And you seem to do a lot of implants. Yes. Right, so it's very lucrative, I guess, for a dentist to be, you know, specializing in Yes, yeah, so I would say, like monetarily speaking, of course, like the like uh, the most lucrative things in dentistry basically is like cosmetology, mm -hmm. of course, uh, implantology, and or orthodontics. All right. Well, we're gonna take a very very short break, and we're gonna come back and keep on talking about dentistry in China. Don't go anywhere. We are back. So, Dr. Zavel, we were talking uh, uh, just in the break. I wanted to uh, bring up the, 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 the fact that so China came a long way, right, with dentistry. And I think with many, many things, of yeah. course, but dentistry is definitely one of them. When I came here 17 years ago, I went to uh, um, get treatment at the market. I mean, it's not like at the market on the street, <laughs> right? So let, don't get me wrong here. Um, but it's, it's in the market area, the market. right? Like but, anyway. but, you know, the, the, the were like the windows are, it's windows, and uh, everybody from outside can see yes. you getting yes. treatment. Yes. No privacy. Um, and that's a bad sign for a foreigner, right? <laughs> but, uh, but they did an okay job. They did a good job. They fixed my tooth that was, it was blue. Um, because I broke my tooth, I broke. I told you this, right? Yes. I broke my tooth on the on the rifle in the army. You know, uh, I and, broke it kind it. Of like and they died? fixed they fix it in the army. Okay, did a bad job, <laughs> and it became blue over the years. And uh, um, blue, yeah, kind of, yeah. Da, da, da. and uh, and now it's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so um, so, what uh, do you think is natural that they they came such a long way? I mean. Um, is there still way to go? How do they compare dentistry in China with other countries today? I think that it, they're in an um, adaptation period because there are many myths among, among Chinese uh, dentists. Um, like what? Like, for example, you know, like I, I, I think the most, the most mistakes that I've seen so far comes from doing root canal treatments. Root canal, okay. Yes, root canal treatments, uh, nerve treatments, you know, there are many names for them. But, you know, they, they, they don't insulate the teeth properly mm. so the bacteria goes inside, you know, like, or, or they use um, hydrogen peroxide that actually could potentially harm you in a terrible way, like if they, like, really inject it into the sinus or something. And uh, so 
you know, they use substances that, you know, that we in the West, like, we know that, like, it's not scientifically pro- uh, proven to work. Or also, like, um, like most of the um, cementation materials for the crowns and for the, and for the inlays and for, you know, the f- false teeth, you know. Uh, the protocols that they use, uh, they follow their own creative protocol that someone invented, you know, like, there's this, like, guy that says, no, I, I prefer to do it this way. But it's like, but, you know, like, I've, I've seen conferences and what I say, like, okay, you're promoting this, like, by yourself, you know, you're giving this seminar, like, how to do, like, a veneer or something, but you're using this product and the, com- the, the factory that is in Liechtenstein or in Germany, they, they say very clearly on how to this do it. This is the product. You know, this is the, their product. And they have shown you how to use it. And they change the process. And they change the process. So, mm. uh, so why is that? I mean, is it related to I, money? I, no. No? No, I think is that they want to differentiate themselves. Like, I don't know. Mm. So, or that the people think that they are better because like... Uh, like they like came up with Because this. they came up with so this So this is idea. still happening now, nowadays. Yes, yes. And, and this kind of thing don't happen in the, in the West? It's very rare because very it rare. will be criticized okay. very severely. Okay. Yeah, and criticize versus if severely. you deviate from a protocol, yes. yeah, and if you probably some liabilities. Protocol. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's Especially really if you make it public because mm-hmm. you will have you have a public record that you're saying something that the commercial brand is saying like not, not to do. So what about regulations in China? I <sighs> think that is still very loosened. Still. Yeah. Because it's, it's still you can see dentists in the streets. Yeah. Still? Yeah, I have, still, I have not seen in China. Yeah, I, seen, I mean, I've seen, seen in the past, not lately, but yes, I do remember yeah. that. Yeah, like with dentures, like, and you know. So what you're things. saying is that to someone like us that don't really know uh, very uh, professionally about it, it looks like China is joined the big leagues. Like the clinics are nice, clean, private now, right? Um, equipment seems really good now. But actually, the software, not the hardware, the software still lack a lot, the, 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 the actual dentist. That's what you're saying? Like, I think that, I think it's the like process. I think that, um, I think personally that the yeah. Chinese government, because of the large population that they have, they have done a good job at trying to incorporate dentistry into China without affecting their culture and values so much because they need to do it in a subtle way. They cannot just flip everything, you know, mm-hmm. because in, in this society and how they handle, you know, their, their people, you know, like it needs to be in a gradual change. So being said that, you, you cannot make a factory on how to do dentist, you know, or how to do a surgeon or how to do, I don't know, like X amount of like professional, right? So... Uh, I think that what they're doing, what I have seen that they're doing is that they are first spreading, you know, and mm. and like the dentistry. And then now little by little more, they're Fixing incorporating it. testing into these people. So they acquire a, a higher level, you know, basically. So like it's a it's factor of developing too fast. Like something yes, like that. Is, and I think if you if I need to put an example... Then to see like right right now in China how it works is basically like like taekwondo or, or karate like you have like a the black belt and then like you go like okay another black belt another belt another belt is basically like this because they they test you and you get to another level right and upon that level even if you're in a corporation they should pay you a minimum you know right so 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 nowadays it seems that it's uh it's much more expensive than it used to be to go to the dentist here but still much cheaper than the USA. I just yes. sorry I just made a video the other day about um how much would you charge for that? I was having lunch and um a chicken bone just got lodged <laughs> between my molars. The guy charged me 20 RMB. A walk of half an hour dentist about work. About half an hour dentist work and, and and gloves and utensils and open this and open that. 20 RMB. I mean, I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> Everyone is different. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. You, know? you would think it took his time, right? It should be yes. a couple of hundred, a hundred, whatever. You and know, I as have a professional. To say, I haven't had a bad experience with dentists in China. And I've Basically, I've been here 20 years. Well, go on the chair. Yeah, that's, 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 that's another thing. That yeah. 
that's another thing that I get. Oh, I haven't had a good about it, about experience, you know, here. Okay, the second X-ray, and then, poof, okay, let me show you, like, mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. Yes. And not, not only here, just to be clear. Right, like, right. In, like, everyone. In general. In general. So, general. It's, uh, it's still, so you know, I guess you would know better than us, prices of dentistry yes, around in the other world. countries, around the world. What's the comparison right now? I think China is in the middle. It's in the middle yeah, now. China is in the middle. Yes. So high would be US. High would be US, yes. And the cheapest? cheapest. In the street in Kolkata? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I was there. Actually, I was there. You saw that? Yeah, 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 actually, I was in Kolkata. By the Ganges. Year. Last year. <laughs> last year. And so China uh, is in the middle. Like, uh, wh in the what middle. would you say comparing with East uh, Europe? That is famous for um, for good prices on dentistry. China, okay, now you're going like a little bit lower than the middle, like in like China. Eastern Europe. Yes. So Look, Eastern Europe is still cheaper than China now. Now China is more expensive. I mean. Yes. Yeah. But because also because the quality of the materials are mm. really I good. Wanted to, I wanted to go there, doctor, because um, one of the th ideas, one of the, the, the thoughts and myths that you have when, when somebody wants to be a dentist is you got to have a lot of money to get all the equipment to open your office right? when That's you graduate. Um, what about the equipment that is used in China? Is it produced locally? Is it imported? Is it a difference? What about the different um, uh, utensils and, and, and tools that you use? Not necessarily this big stuff, but like the ones that, the supplies that you get on a daily basis. Are there differences? Uh, are they cheaper here than in other countries? Tell us a little bit about what we see behind us. <laughs> I think that the Chinese medical industry is growing pretty fast and this is a growing market. And you can see it like with the face mask and during the pandemic and like it, you know, um, they actually make really, really good products. Uh, I have experienced myself, you know, like uh, uh, for example, like um, metal mirrors, dental mirrors, you know, made in Germany and made in China. And you cannot tell the difference. Mm. So um, this is made <coughs> in? Uh, this uh, specifically, uh, this one I don't know where. Don't know, no. But um, see, say so. <clears throat> but I would say you know like, and also Chinese are becoming leaders on becoming on doing dental chairs. Chairs. Yeah, dental okay. chairs. Okay. You know, and shipping around the world. Makes sense. Yeah. It's not something that is like because Chinese are really good at manufacturing, at mass producing. Things. Right. Right. So, so they really can do it. Right. So it's but uh, you know like for. Sorry, but you know, for electronic equipment, like more specialized equipment, motors, uh, mm, yeah, and 3D scans and like X ray, like CTs and everything, everything like most of the big stuff is imported. Yes. So they import, they pay yes. the money. Yes, and, you they know, pay the money. The money they have. <laughs> yeah, money they have. But uh, for the implants, they don't, they don't produce their own, in, their own implants, they so, import them. So where I was getting with, without a question, is, uh, uh, in Israel, uh, people go to Eastern Europe mm -hmm. to do their teeth, you know, and uh, it's much cheaper. It's worth it to go there. They go for a couple of weeks or whatever. And uh, I, th I guess there is uh, dentistry tourism, right? There is. How about China? Do, do, do they get Westerners to come here to do their teeth? I mean, you told us, like, at least, at least for the people that used to live here, it may happen. Yeah, like they may no, come no. back for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I've had, I, I always have like these kind of patients that even, you know, the ones that right now are leaving, like just returning to their countries, like definitely. Yeah. They prefer to do the, the, the dental treatments here with and me then. and then return home. Right. Like, yeah. Or, you know, like this American girl, like last year that paid, uh, I think that it was like, uh, almost three grand US to make a root canal treatment in LA mm. uh, she came here and she had a vast uh, like she had a, a bad experience like with a doctor so she was recommended to come with me and I and I, she, I told her you need to have a root canal treatment because what they did is irreversible so I did and she told me like she was scared because you know like Other she just had like because she didn't know me and because she, like so she would show everything to her doctor in the US right and I said, like, yes, of course, like, I will give you the x-rays, you know, like, of the recession and so on. So she agreed to do it, and I, I told her price, and it was like, when you hear, like, the root canal treatment is like uh, 300 bucks, roughly. So and root canal here is about 300 bucks, yes, US. Yes, and uh, roughly, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. And, um, and when I, 
you know, when I got the answer from like, you know, she told me, you know, I'm so, she told me I'm very happy with the result and I don't feel any pain. But you know, my dentist told me like, how can you go to, like such a root, root, root canal treatment for that price? Like, yeah. How good know? could it be? <laughs> yeah. Like, and then like he showed him the x-ray, she, like, and then like. So was, why like, is it so expensive good, in the U.S.? Because I've, I've spoken and I also like did my courses in the U.S. and so on. Because in the U.S., you charge to insurance companies. And that's where the money goes, the middleman. Yes. <laughs> it's interesting. So I how wanna, much... <coughs> sorry. sorry. Yeah, go. <laughs> no, because I want to change the topic. So yeah, go. so before you change the topic, I'm yeah. still on that. I'm like, I'm recruiting uh, foreigners. Come to China. Do your teeth. <laughs> uh, so, so, so how about the implants, right? It's a big thing in the world today. Um um, how much would it be to, you know, people that are maybe older already, they decide, okay, I just want to do all my, my, all my mouth, right? Implants. How, how much would that be in here to do your, your mouth full of implants? Like that's a very difficult thing to say. Because like, it really depends. But what would really be the average? It what would it be? To, because it's that different from different uh, uh, manufacturers, different... Yeah, it it's many, many realities. Yeah. Like, uh, like if you... Many factors. Because sometimes... Like dentists say, by the way, this is like a thing that dentist says, like uh, things that like dentists dent say. Think is dentists say, okay, the patient has the money but doesn't have the bone, or the patient has the bone but the patient has not have the money. So for it's the pre condition depending. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's one thing that dentists <laughs> say around the world. I see. Yeah. So it's really hard to say. <coughs> so it's very hard to say. It yes. depends. And also depends on the brand of the implant. How many implants do you want? Do you want to be fixed? Do you or do you want to be removable? Do you want the teeth to be made of plastic, or do you made, do you want your teeth made of uh, porcelain, or do you gold. want your teeth <laughs> made to be made of gold or make made of metal? Yeah, yeah, no, they're really. And which porcelain? Like, like there are X amount of porcelains, so like different brands. Like, so it's it's it depends in in many factors. Mm. What about uh, uh, whitening? Whitening. I was gonna go there. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, did you have a question? Uh, well, um, when you were talking about the, the the industry growing, whitening right now is is one of those things that I also see growing, and a lot of things being done at home. Um, what's your take on that? Is is that doable? Is that a yeah, good thing? Buy material. I, and and I yeah. think I honestly think, and not because you know, like I'm a dentist, you know, like people shouldn't do this at home. Mm. This is just like a way of, of corporations or, or like industries to make money. Sure, of course. Of course. But people shouldn't do this at home. Because, Why? Because the effects, because they don't know how to measure, like the measurements that they need to do it or the length and the damages that it can have. Like what I have seen with people that they have done, they've done this at home is how they harm their gums, you know, irreversibly because they put too much of the liquid hoping that they will get a better result. If 10 so minutes like, is good, so 15 you know, must like, be better. Yes, and if, <laughs> like, if, if it a drop is good, maybe two or three will be better, you know. Yeah. So, and they will try this because, oh yeah, let's inquire, you know, so, no, <laughs> like, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> it's the way to fix <laughs> you, you had people coming here with problems that happened when they did it at home by yes. themselves? Yes, no, of course. Well, is gum problems usually? <laughs> yeah, usually gums problems, mm. unsensibility problems. Is the material the same? What you'd buy on Taobao? That's another thing. Like yeah. if you, okay, if you buy it from a certificate uh, distributor, mm -hmm. that if you buy it from a third type party dealer, you know, because this maybe could be a copy. Right, you know, or it could be diluted, you know. So you but don't know the concentration. But it could be also at a, at, a, at a dentist clinic that is not the most honest. No, no, could happen. This, this right? is what I told you. Like, it's very yeah. important to know like right, where to right, go, and right. that's a difficult thing. Like, there's not a clear path in the world, like on where to go to a safe dentist. Like, right, you can right. only see reviews and right. hear people's advice. You, right. you mentioned something yeah. about uh, about degrees and how degrees are not the most important thing, and. And of course, you gotta have a degree to be a dentist, but perhaps the most important thing is the skill. I mean, I can teach you everything, and you can know everything, and you know all the chemistry, and you know, but is it your skill? Yes. The the ability to 
work in reverse, as I call it. I mean, you guys need to operate looking into this mirror in a very... You were talking about the things that dentists say, yeah. right? Open wide. <laughs> um, you were talking about before, right? About the skill. I've seen him on my son a few weeks ago. And my son is eight. And, uh, you know, and I say, it's not going to hurt, right? Just the sh I always, when I was a kid, I was just, just the shot going to hurt me. And then everything is okay. So I say to him... I love the, the shot because I know that's going to fix all the, you know, pain yeah. later. There's no pain. But now even, now when you do it, there is no pain even when you do the shot, right? So the skill, yeah, like you said, the skill of... Are you... Like this. That dexterity, that, that, that very um, solid hand, is that something that is tested? Is it something... No. That is because you could come with whatever yes. degree... But so scores, this is scores, like, this scores like, this don't... <laughs> no, no, so of course they don't... It's because like... It's an art. Dentistry also is an it's, mm. it's artistic. That's, mm. that's another thing. D dentistry has many things in, and it's artistic, you know. So uh, you can have a degree in Harvard, you know, in dentistry, or you can have a degree in Baylor's, or you can have a, like your, I don't know, which university, you know. But still, the result is the same. Like also, like your, as I said, like your values. Like how much are you valuing your patient? How much you care? How not much you care for the patient? Yeah, yeah. It's not all about, about doing a procedure. I can I can be I know many great surgeons, like really great, great top of the line surgeons that just and like okay like later and later and you know like and they don't and it's not that they don't care. It's like they know that they don't they don't write like whatever happens like what happens like like you just come back like one week later just for me to check up. Right. So and they don't have any contact with. The patient, so the patient feels a little bit uh, isolated sometimes. So, but you but need they to have like different skills, you know. But like they teach you, right? They probably teach you in school. <laughs> they teach you. No, they try. It doesn't mean that everybody is like be a, a good student, but they <laughs> teach you that you need to. No, it's like a butcher chop, right? <laughs> like really, because yeah. they make you practice with your partner, like you know, like like between the students. <laughs> like, eh, so oh, everyone is like, <laughs> like you come know. Wow. like you know, but sometimes people it's creepy, you know, like. I've heard stories that it, it's amazing, you know, like like people like you don't go what <laughs> the needle going here, like, <laughs> like, like like from a cheek, you know, like. So. Well, it's like it's like when someone when a, when a nurse yeah, give like, you a shot, go right? for a piercing, I mean, yeah. Don't they teach you to do it like what you do? They teach you how to. They usually, I think, like uh, they grab your hand and they tell you, okay, like you just go slowly, you know, like like. I, like I'm thinking other examples right now, <laughs> but I like go slowly. <laughs> <laughs> and so then, like, there's always, the first time. There's always the first time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't and mean that each one really takes it too hard, right? <laughs> like, you know, yeah. really takes it too hard. Yes, you should I try it on yourself, I guess. That's the best. No, you, try it you on fall yourself. asleep sure in the middle. Do you try it on yourself? Sean? Yes, you yes, do. Yes, I've tried it myself. I remember in the army, the uh, paramedics, they 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 try it on themselves, you know, with other kind of shots, right? But. Uh, so 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 you say it doesn't matter which university uh, there is some art to it it's, it's, art, it's art to it for sure it is uh, of course knowledge of course that's vital like logical and rational and scientific based knowledge you know and I guess experience and you probably get better experience right. of yes, course yes, experience yes. because sometimes sometimes you reach to a point that is like Okay, I, I have done everything by the book, you know. But since I told you, like, it could be 2 plus 2, like, 16, or like, or everything. So you are doing it by the book, you know. And still, like, for example, you're not finding, like, one root or, I don't know, like, exact, like, I don't know, the person is bleeding more or something. So you really need to control this situation and address them as, as best as you, can, as you can. And this is just by the experience. You know? Now, there, there are moments, I mean, I always thought when I was younger, I thought like, oh, I, I could never be a dentist. I mean, you're hurting people every day. But then later, it's like, <laughs> really? But then later, because that was my experience, you know, as a patient. Yeah, and later, uh, yes, later I can, now I feel like, oh, you know, it's, it's, you should look at it from the other side. Like, you know, my goal every day is to make sure I do the job and nobody has pain, right? Yes. Um, but there must be moments, right, where you cannot uh, avoid pain. Like, causing you know, pain. Yes. Yeah, causing yes, pain, yes, right? That's that true. happens a lot or just... Very few. Very few. Okay, it doesn't happen a no, lot. It doesn't happen a lot. So that's, so that's the thing. I mean, so, so I guess that that's one of the most important things as a dentist 
to make sure it's uh, pain free as much as possible. Yes, yeah. I would say that that's like one of the main goals. Yes. Is there is there anything in the way that uh, that a clinic that an office is set up that helps people relax because yes. i feel personally like either colors or, or yes. smells yes. or things Th- like that i don't know because i ooh, uh, uh, i can't help but stress you know like you relax for another uh and, and then, uh, when you go to dentist. what kind of things uh, are, are there in place in an office that help people relax usually like what you see like everything that you see like all of these uh, napkins and everything like it's light blue like This blue color, like pastel colors, like mm. they say, like in this situation, everything is pastel color in this situation. <laughs> like a pastel pink, a pastel green, <laughs> a, plast- a, pl- a pastel blue, you know, like like these are, are like a like white, clean, you know, like a wood kind of feeling. But you, you will not see like a red room, you know, like big black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah it's like when my son was there the other day, you know, I was remember I was amazed, like. I, I, so he was treating him and the dentist assistant yeah she was sitting next and she was doing the whole time like this for my son like this the whole time like like yeah, things like that are done to make sure a patient is is a kid so mm. and I was amazed because nobody did this to me when I was there as a kid <laughs> <laughs> yeah my dentist yeah. had a cigarette yeah something yeah, like that before, right? before they used to <laughs> <And> my <laughs> it's amazing how them. they think about making sure that the ashes you know, were going like, oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> treating, treating, you treat children, right? Yeah, so sometimes, chil- like, yeah, sometimes. Not always. No, right? no. If, there if, are dentists that are specialized. Yes, they are. They are. Right. So it must be. Is it more difficult? I would say, like, uh, yes. All right, and we are back. We had a small technical issue. Uh, yes. It's not, of course, China. We don't have a curve focal. <laughs> <laughs> and Fernando's Huawei phone didn't help. Yeah, sorry. Um, all right, let's <laughs> or, get back. <laughs> I wanted to, to ask you a question related to some of the changes that I've seen um, in my 20 years here in China. Chinese kids are eating differently. Yes. They are eating a lot more sugar, a lot more candy, drinking more Coke, uh, consuming more, well, things that are actually not good for your teeth. Um Have you? How do you see this changing in China? Um, do you work a lot with children? I usually don't work a lot with children. Okay, but I I do see children, and yes, you can tell the difference. And like in these years that I've been here, and you can see the increase in cavities because uh, they're consuming more sugars, you know, and they were not used to brushing their teeth as often as often as as nowadays. So. Mm-hmm. You can see like a really gradual increase in cavities. Yes. It, do you think um, education is uh, is working or is just why why is it improving? I think it's improving, like in general, uh, because um, partly because of the pushing of the propaganda, of the marketing, like trying to explain you why it's important to take the teeth, like to take care of the teeth, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so this has like a secondary, eff- like a secondary effect, you know. Of course, the main is to attract patients, you know. But uh, is like secondary ca- the uh, effect is like uh, education to the patients, like on oh, why it's important because it will eventually reach you, you know, and reach other people. On okay, yeah, it's important to do this because this and this and that, you know. Mm. Um, <coughs> you said before when we spoke about myths, you said uh, we talked about brushing teeth, you know, and I hear this a lot, right? Dentists always say that um, people don't know how to brush their teeth. Yes. Um, why is that? I mean, should be such a simple thing, right? I mean, it's, it's the same reason, like because people think that like the electric toothbrush is like a Roomba, like like you will just clean like the floor, you know, and that's it, you know. <laughs> No, <laughs> like you need to know how to use it. You know? How is it that people don't know how to brush their teeth? I mean, I would say like, uh, because, because I would say it's propaganda, like uh, dentists shouldn't want people to brush their teeth well, no? Well, you <laughs> know, they want <laughs> but you know, it's because people think, oh yeah, like I have actually seen it, you know, and I ask people like, like just <laughs> show me, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, people like, like, okay, why, why did you want? Like, oh yeah, I like the color. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they, yeah, like I like this shape, you know, like it has like this S shape, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, so <laughs> okay, uh, or oh yeah, like this one has like rubber things that it makes me feel comfortable, or oh yeah, I like this because it's just a straight line, you know, uh-huh. like like yeah, people and, have preferences. Or, oh, it's hard, or, or it's soft, you know, or, or it's hard, it's soft, you know, but you know, like 
<clears throat> ideally, at the, end of the, what, at, what? at the end of the day, like you're you're harming your teeth if you're choosing not to. If ask I ask, if I ask a hundred dentists how to brush my teeth, will they all say the same thing? About what? Like about the brushing, what's the right brush? way to brush your teeth? I think that it, well, it depends in each patient because it, like there are many techniques to brush the teeth the right way, know, like in the right way. It depends in which conditions you're prone to. Ah, mm, okay. I see. Like gums disease. Usually, right. usually for my patients with gums disease, I recommend Oral B. Okay. Yeah, like me personally, I'm I'm not being paid by the Oral B. Just mm-hmm. to disclose that. Right. Uh, because of the tip of the toothbrush and like the technique that is involved into it, it helps. Uh, to keep your gums clean. No, I mean, people in the end, they brush their teeth. Basically, I guess it's the easiest way. Yeah. yeah. It's like what's more natural, right? And they will damage all their teeth because they think that they're like a violin, you know, like just... Right, we, we, right. These are not things that dentists do. They, like say, oh, yeah, you're brushing like a violin. It's, you know, like this, like a, like a right. cartoon and you're damaging all your teeth. Like basically you're destroying everything you're like there, you know. Wow. Right. So. All right. So, uh, Dr. Z, um, I wanted to talk a bit about you being from Costa Rica. Yes. <laughs> right? I don't think we, we said it until now. You might have wondered for an hour. Uh, <laughs> where is he from? His accent. Um, so, um, you don't really meet many people from your countries here in China. In the world, I think. Like, in the world. Uh, it's because you Costa Ricans, so much. Yeah, Costa Ricans stay basically in Costa Rica. Uh, Costa Rica is an exception in Latin America. We have a problem with immigration usually. So Costa Rica is like pretty much Costa Rica. And if they travel, is because they want to travel, you know, or because they want for an opportunity to study or because they they often got a job or opportunity, but you will rarely see a Costa Rican that wants to leave their country because they are unhappy with it. So it's in that case, you know, is I think is is a little bit, already like um, rare to meet a Costa Ricans because even the population, you know, the census is 5 million people. Because what, is it, is it that great to be there? That's what you're saying? That people, uh, people are happy. People, people are yes. generally happy. They don't feel you like they need to go to other... Caribbean beach. You yeah, Pacific. Pacific. Yeah. <laughs> right. And you have the mountains and you have like, like the jungles. When, you, when, you, when people in China hear you are from Costa Rica, do they know anything about it? Some people know. I, I've, I've been shocked about this. Some people know. What do they know? What is the thing to know? Uh, well, <laughs> some people say Jurassic Park immediately. <laughs> like, like Jurassic really? Park? Yeah. Really? Jurassic Park was in Costa Rica. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. In Costa Rica. Oh, okay. They say in the movie, like, okay. oh, it's in Costa Rica, you know. Ah, okay. Um, but uh, some people say that. Some people talk about, like, uh, soccer, you know. And some people talk about, like, nature. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, basically. Like... But at least, you know, they have a, a little bit, you know, orientation where it is, you know. Do you guys have a consulate here in China? Yes, we have an embassy in uh, Beijing, Beijing and, a sure. con- and a consulate in Shanghai. Yes. Right. So, um, is, is it something you're going to... I mean, you say not many Costa Ricans are out, but you are out, right? Yes. You, you, you lived in other places or are you planning to stay away from, I mean, living in other places in Costa Rica? I have lived in Africa. I have also, um, yes, as a volunteer, like uh, twice. Um, <clears throat> I have been to the U.S. I've been to Europe. Like I've been offered to work in Dubai, as you know. Um, I've been, um, I've been, you know, you know, thinking many different things. But like uh, my plans, for, like for original for, for this year, have changed a lot since the COVID crisis. You know, so I'm planning like to stay here at least. Two to three more years. Yes. And you also you 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 speak Chinese pretty fluently, right? Yes. <laughs> and uh, it was pretty quickly after you arrived, I guess. <laughs> because I had I began having Chinese girlfriends. Yeah, yes. Chinese girlfriend. <laughs> Again, this is the discussion of how what's the best way to doesn't work with Fernando. <laughs> so I mean, is it does it uh, is it like you would say for what you do, is it almost a must? It's a must. It's a must. You need to speak Chinese. And I guess like if you want to be a dentist in China, you need to speak Chinese. Is there a test? It will, there will be a test. Okay. Are oh, they going to do it? And there is a test already in the big c- cities. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. So, um, so, I mean, you speak Chinese already, you know, for a foreigner that speaks Chinese. Uh, don't you think that uh, staying here, you probably have a lot of opportunities 
in China, like in the in the dentistry. Going to any you mm-hmm. you are you planning to stay here for long or? I I told you at least two to three years. At least like, two to three uh, years. Yeah, the government, the government of the local government, anyways, is trying to um, motivate me into staying here. Okay, and um, and the environment is very good. The people are very good. You know, so you know if I see it from a very good perspective, you know, is is a, you know, I can stay here, but I, you know, like. If you follow my 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 Career. history and, and my path, I'm always like just taking big, you know, challenges. I'm not like, oh, I'm in a plateau. I'm not gonna stay there. I'm just going like, going to the next level, you know. So. Right. So okay. Um. And and for our audience that maybe is in dentistry or studying now, so you would recommend, even though we say there are, it's not so easy to come here, uh, to work, you know, because there is a lot of uh, talk about more. You know, kind of like immigration to China, right? More, more foreigners, more foreigners coming to work in China. Like, mm-hmm. how about this? You would you recommend someone? I would. I would recommend like to to like for dentists everywhere in the world to to come to Asia, to many countries in Asia, and to experience different different countries in general. Like, I I'm someone that personally I would like to experience like Vietnam and, and Thailand also to work there mm. because they they have like very good experience. You can gain very like good experiences are our teeth different i mean this is just a very yes random question teeth different from continent to continent from race to race yes that's true that's a fact yeah? and surgeries as well yes and i have performed surgeries in all races and all ethnicities in all what are some in, of those? in all age groups yes what are some of those differences for example between chinese teeth and, and western <coughs> teeth healthy ones or usually what i've i've seen myself is the Chinese teeth like usually are very short. So surgery wise, like uh, the bone is softer. Okay, so it's easier to extract the teeth, you know. But they also come in a very strange positions. Okay, mm. compared to Western teeth, if you want to put it somewhere, like the, uh, we're ta- we're talking about like percentages. Um, so that's like a big difference, you know. Isn't isn't like mixed race is worse teeth? Or yes. Right. Something yes. I've, I've because I've heard because, this before. Because if you mix when you when you're you know I'm in pro everyone like mixing you know, but um if you mix races like you're mixing you know the bone the jaw of a German guy for example that is like two meters, two meters high, okay I don't know how many how much that is in like feet I'm sorry Americans, um, but. <laughs> With you know, the like teeth uh, of with the teeth of a Filipino that are just like this, right, so right. you're mixing like many, many, and different there are many and couples like that here. Yeah. <laughs> All <laughs> right, <Yes. laughs> All right. Well, we want to um, thank you very, very much for your time. It's all already gotten dark, as you can see, so we spent quite a bit of time here. Yeah. Thank you so very much for, well, your time, your patience, your information, and sharing all these experiences and stories with us. Uh, Ziv. Yeah, I mean, I want to say after we're done, you're going to open up. And, uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and uh, if you like what you saw, uh, please give us a like on this video. Yep, remember to use the link in the description down below to hit the subscribe button and to hit the bell button when you want to get messages every time we have a new video. And well, until we see you again, this has been, of course, China. <laughs>